I wanted to start off with this view of 270 specifically at Olive because this is what it's going to look like for any of you who head out the door in the next few minutes and take 270 northbound. You can see the flashing lights and all traffic is now over basically on the shoulder and in that right lane. So very slow speeds. You can still get onto 270 northbound from the Page Avenue extension. Guys, the best alternate I would suggest to 270 right here 141 at all of not a car on the road. This will be much easier to navigate than 270. The other serious crash that I am tracking right now is 44 eastbound right around Hampton right in that construction zone. Traffic in fact is being diverted at Hampton. I would suggest if you live south of 44, maybe go over to Kings Highway, get on the interstate. If you live north of 44, go up to interstate 64 and tracking on 70 and it's a positive update. Emily that crash has now cleared. So if you are about ready to start a commute where you head into or even out of the city of St. Louis, you should not have any problems on 70 right here just west of Cary. Going a little bit further west, there will be no problems for people getting to Lambert Airport, but there are a few problems with people trying to get here from New York. Three flights coming in from New York have been canceled. However, no departures have been canceled yet. That's something I will keep my eye on. Going a little bit further west on 70, things are looking good in the St. Charles County area. No problems at all down here on Interstate 64, but traffic is starting to build for our drivers coming out of the Winsville area. You can see a big stream of cars and trucks heading east on Interstate 70. There are no delays in the entire St. Louis area. And that is very good for all of you drivers who dealt with plenty of headaches yesterday morning. This morning, though, road crews are hoping they do not see a repeat. Our Kelly Davis is live with the Bomberito Street Fleet at MoDOT headquarters. And Kelly, the big question, how are those road crews going to deal with the snow that's coming later today? If you are coming out of St. Clair County this morning, you might want to give yourself a few extra minutes to go over the Poplar Street Bridge. It's about uh, 10 miles slower than we typically see it, and that is because of the construction that leads up to that bridge down to 48 miles per hour on Interstate 64 westbound. You might want to give Route 15 a try. Take that through East St. Louis to get to the Martin Luther King Bridge. It's moving just a little bit faster this morning. The construction that was supposed to start on 270 right here between 367 and Lilac has been delayed. I am seeing heavy traffic coming off the Chain of Rocks Bridge, but it is still a speed limit run. The big story of the morning coming out of the traffic center, though, is right here in South St. Louis County, a very serious rollover crash. Our Mark Griffin has been following this for about 30 minutes now. Mark, what is the latest? Looking up all the way to Butler Hill. And as you looked at that live look from Mark Griffin, you could see that people were entering the highway from 270. So if you typically take 270 to get onto Interstate 55 southbound, this will not have an impact on you. Delays of about three to five minutes on 55 northbound. A situation I've been tracking now, Andre, for 20 minutes. As you see, emergency lights right here, 70 westbound west of Cary because there is debris in the road that actually popped up and hit a semi. So here it is right here. I can tell you that the backup is to McKinley, but we can get you around it. If you want to avoid this entirely and you do take 70 to get out of the city, here's what you can do. Go up to Shreve, go up to Union, go up to Riverview to get on Interstate 70. Or if you're coming out of the Metro East, don't mess with those downtown bridges. Rather, go up to 270, the Chain of Rocks Bridge, as an alternate route. Be prepared and have a full tank of gas because I am seeing delays of over two hours. Interstate 70, that is by far the worst interstate in our area. This is what it looks like, 70 at Union. Just a parking lot as people are trying to get out of the city of St. Louis. 14 miles per hour as people get closer to the Ferguson area. Consider this a traffic and a news report because you see a lot of emergency lights right here. News 4 has confirmed that there was a police pursuit that started in the city of St. Charles. Sounds like it went over the Blanchette Bridge, and this is where it ended on 70 eastbound. The good news, that suspect is in custody. We will continue to monitor this to figure out when that lane will reopen. For any of you who took Interstate 55 70 right here or Interstate 64 and got caught in that major backup just before the downtown bridges this morning, you probably thought, why didn't News 4 tell us about this construction? Well, it's because IDOT officials never told us about that construction. I asked IDOT about that today. They say they had a slip up. Here's the big question. Why in the world didn't you alert people? 
Well, that was an oversight on our part. We did have the message boards out there for the last couple of weeks saying that this was coming and it had that date on it, but uh, we didn't, just through a, a slip up in our office, we didn't get the press release out in time for that. That's the official answer as to why traffic looked like this. Cars and trucks backed up all the way to 111. Crews were scheduled to do this restriping project on Saturday, but the weekend rain washed out those road plans. So with no warning to the general public, IDOT crews closed one left lane minutes before 7 a.m., just in time to snarl the morning commute. On this one, it, it slipped past us. Uh, we didn't get it out. so. And for that, I do apologize to all, all the motors. You can expect more construction for tomorrow's morning commute, but instead of the left lane of 64 being closed, the right lane will be closed and it will remain closed throughout the rest of this year and into next spring. IDOT officials tell me you should allot 15 extra minutes for your morning commute from here on out. Reporting in Collinsville, Laura Hedegar, News 4. Laura Hedegar spent hours yesterday talking to lawmakers and researching some hot topics. Laura, what's the rest of the week looking like? Well, Emily, we have to imagine that representatives and senators are getting ready for work right now. They will be going to their offices in Jeff City this morning, and when they finally have a chance to sit down at their desk, maybe drink their morning coffee, they will already be up against the clock because they still have three major issues looming. Right to work, the gas tax, and also the voter ID bill. Now, the Senate made major progress on right to work yesterday. They did pass a measure that moves on to the House today. It bans workplace contracts where union fees are collected from non-members. According to lawmakers I spoke with, that will most likely take up the rest of the time, meaning there's a good chance there will not be any time to push through a gas tax. That's not good news for MoDOT officials. They tell me without more money, it'll be very hard to plan any long-term projects. We do a five-year construction program. We look at it five years at a time. And when we're looking out to 2017, that's the point where we don't think we'll be able to match all of the federal funds anymore. And funding for roads is such a big deal for all of you watching, for all of you who drive here in Missouri. The News 4 will continue to follow this for all of you.